reading from Shema Bhav Kant 11, after 11, verse 4. Ekasyaiva mamam sasya, ivasyaiva mahamati, andosya vidyayana dir, vidyaya cha etaraha. O most intelligent Uddhava, the living entity called Eva is part and parcel of Eva. Due to ignorance, he has been suffering in material bondage since time immemorial. By knowledge, however, he can be liberated. Just as the sun reveals itself through its own light or covers itself by creating clouds, the personality of God who reveals or covers himself by knowledge and ignorance, which are expansions of his potence, as stated in Bhagavad Gita, Aparevichaspanyam, Prakriti Vidime Param, Jiva Bhuta Mahapo, Baho, Nayeda Variate. Besides his inferior nature, almighty armed Arjuna, there is a superior energy of mind consisting of all living entities who are struggling with material sustaining the universe. The Prabhupada states in connection with this verse, the personality of God is his only controller and all living entities are controlled by him. These living entities are his superior energy because the quality of their existence is one and the same with the supreme but they're never equal to the Lord in quantity of power. Because of quantitative inferiority of potency, the living entity becomes covered by mind and is gained liberated to the Lord. The word amsa or parcel is also mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. So, we will look at Jiva Bhuta Sanatana, the living entity, amsa or particle. And therefore, is subject to liberate and bondage, as stated in the Vishnu Purana. Vishnu Shakti Bra Prokta Chik Yakya Tapara Avidya Karma Sunya Kritiya Shakti. A superior out of God and Vishnu possesses a superior eternal potency as well as the potency of Ketraya Shakti. Shakti is also spiritual potence, but is sometimes covered by the third or material potence called ignorance. Thus, because of the various stages of covering, second or marginal potency is manifested in different evolutionary phases. The Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written the living entity has been executing fruit of activity since time immemorial. Thus, his conditioned life may be called beginningless. Uh, such conditional life, however, is not endless, since it may achieve liberation through the loving devotional Lord. This living entity may acquire liberation of progress state is liberated begins at a certain point, but is endless. His liberated life is under so eternal. In any case, the one who has achieved the shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, may be understood to be liberated since the person has entered into the eternal atmosphere of the There is no material time in the spiritual sky. One who has achieved his eternal spiritual body on Lord Krishna's not substitute. Time. This eternal blissful life of Krishna is not designated in terms of material past, present, and future, and is therefore called eternal liberation. Material time is considered 
conspicuous by the absence of the spirit of the sky. Every living entity there is eternally liberated, having attained the supreme liberation. Such liberation can be achieved by video or perfect knowledge, which is understood in three phases called Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan, as described in Srimad Bhagavatam. The ultimate phase of video or knowledge is to understand the Supreme Personality of God. In Bhagavad Gita, such knowledge is called Raja Vigra, the King. This verse speaks of the jiva, called the amsa of the Lord. In the Padamana, the Bahari Amsamana Jiva we put the So for Jiva literally means life. And Jiva and the Kapurul Valka in Badam. And Amsa means a part. Amsa and Al Purpahudi. So a part, of course usually means we uh, have a substance and we cut it into pieces. But in this case, uh, there's no cutting because we cannot cut the Lord and the Jiva is eternally an Amsa part. However, one meaning of this word amsa, or at least implication, is that uh, the amsa uh, is related to uh, some bigger uh, entity. So we know that the Supreme Lord is everything, everything is in the Lord. So therefore all the jivas are part of the Lord. Uh, and as being part of the Lord, therefore they have some uh, relationship or similarity. However, uh, to make um, things a little clearer, uh, we uh, differentiate uh, the different types of amsal. So that is why uh, we label the energies of the Lord as Chit Shakti, the Tasha Shakti, and the Achit Shakti. So Shakti is like Amsa, mean they're intimately related with the Lord, but also different. Uh, so, some parts are very uh, intimately related with the Lord, some parts are very distantly related with the Lord. So the internal energy or the antaranga shakti is very intimately related with the Lord. Uh, the external energy or the bahiranga shakti is very distant in its relationship. So therefore we use these two words, internal and external, or antaranga and bahiranga. 
And then between these two extremes, the internal and external, we have the middle, that is the Tadastra Chakra. So, it is not so intimate as the internal energy, and it is not so different like the external. So this is the jiva. Uh, so he is uh, kind of like the Lord because he was conscious. Unlike the Lord, he can fall into ignorance. Uh, covered by material energy. At the same time, that same jiva can be, you can say, covered by the internal energy. Uh, and for that reason, it's called tatashta or borderline. Uh -huh. So, uh, unlike matter, uh, the jiva has a possibility of intimately relating with the world. Uh, but as is stated in this verse, due to ignorance, uh, he is quite separate from the Lord. However, by knowledge or bhakti, uh, then he can uh, get rid of this material condition and meet the Lord. Uh, so the uh, 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 Lord supplies uh, ample means by which the jiva in the material world can attain the Lord. But in all cases, that jiva maintains his nature as a jiva and doesn't change. So this Kastra uh, Shak never becomes Ahiranga Shak, nor does it become Antaranga Shak. Or internal energy. So, if the jiva is in the material world, uh, then uh, we that uh, covering of ignorance is called anadi with no beginning. You cannot trace out a first birth in the material world. Uh, previous to this creation was another creation, before that was another creation, before that was another creation, before that was another creation. So the manifestation of material universes uh, continues uh, in the past and into the future with no beginning, and the jivas are uh, in that universe with material body. Okay. So the ignorance is uh, without beginning and the karma is without beginning. So, 
Uh, so some people may argue that because it has no beginning, therefore it can have no end. Uh, however, that's not, uh, uh, um, let's say, completely logical. And, of course, the Lord can always uh, make exception. So, uh, karma and avidya has no beginning, but can have an end. And it is up to the jiva. It is the choice of the jiva. So uh, the jiva never loses his nature of a jiva to choose. And okay, if the jiva chooses spiritual world and he goes to the spiritual world, uh, then as explained in, in the in the purport, that also is anadi. Uh, but uh, this state in the spiritual world is a little different. Uh, once the jiva goes to the spiritual world, he does not come to the material world. If the jiva is in the material world, he can go to the spiritual. Once the, Lord, the jiva goes to the spiritual world, he remains there certainly in the future. So the, uh, let's say, the endless nature of the jiva's existence in the material world is quite different from the endless nature in the spiritual world. Some of the jivas can end the material existence, but if you go to the spiritual world, there's no end to that existence. However, uh, the jiva in the material world has this anadi, no beginning to his material uh, existence. However, the jiva, when he leaves the material world and goes to the spiritual world, then he really has a beginning to his spiritual existence or adi, is not anadi. That is from our perspective in this world. However, from the spiritual per perception in the spiritual world, there is no past. So therefore, once you're in the spiritual world, you're there with no beginning and no end. So, in any case, here we have a description of the jiva in the material world. And though his uh, the position of bondage looks hopeless because of no beginning, still uh, here the promise is you can get liberated. 
அந்த ஆத்மாவானது தொடர்ச்சியாக தொண்ணூத்தெட்ட காலத்திலிருந்து கட்டுப்பா பந்தப்பட்டு இருக்கிறது என்று சொல்லப்பட்டிருந்தாலும் இந்த பந்தத்திலிருந்து விடுவதற்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்கிறது என்று வாக்களிக்கப்படுகிறது மாறுபாடுகள் <laughs> வித்தியாசம்ிஃபர இந்த வித்தியாசத்தின் காரணமாக இவற்றினால் கிடைக்கும் பலனும் மாறுபடுகிறது நாம் இந்த இதற்கான பலவிதமான விஷயங்களை அறிவதன் பற்றி அறிவதனுடைய பலன் தான் என்ன ரீசன் ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் இஸ் தட் if we don't have a clear idea of our identity and our goal it is very difficult to do oru oru kaaranam enna endra nammai pattiyum nammude ilakkai pattiyum nam telivaga arindirukkavillai endra nam nammude mudivai kaanbadhu arivu and uh, historically speaking uh, within india uh, there have been many other uh, proposals about what is a jiva and what is the goal of life சரித்திர ரீதியாக பார்த்தமையானால் இந்த இந்திய நாட்டில் ஜீவா என்பது என்ன அதனுடைய இலக்கு என்ன என்பதை பற்றி பல்வேறு விதமான கருத்துக்கள் திளைத்திருக்கின்றன திளைக்கின்றன இந்த பல்வேறு விதமான தத்துவங்களை அறியும்போது நாம் குழப்பம் அடைய வாய்ப்பு உண்டு இதன் காரணமாக நாம் சரியான இலக்கை அறியாமல் போகலாம் so therefore we do have to have uh, a clear idea of things according to scripture ave nam shastrathin adipadi oru telivana puridhai arindukolla vendum and even if we have scripture then we have to get the right meaning of scripture namalum nam shastrathai arindhalam avadilinde sariyana karuthai pera vendum so previously it said uh, the jiva has no bondage and no liberation தெளிவான புரிதலை பெற வேண்டும் otherwise we cannot determine what the real goal is idai seiya vaital unmayana ilakku enna endrai nam ariyamal pogalam so with that in mind uh krishna himself here is teaching udhav idai manadhil kondu than krishna re neradiyaga udhavarukku inge paadam karpikkindar hari krishna ஜீவாத்மானது <laughs> ஒரு 
அதே ஒரு காலகட்டத்தில் அது இந்த லௌகிக பிரபஞ்சத்தை விட்டு ஆன்மீக உலகத்தை அடைகிறது அடிப்படையில் ஆத்மாவிற்கு ஆன்மீக உலகத்தில் ஆன்மீக வாழ்க்கைக்கு ஒரு ஆர்வம் என்று இருக்கிறது But that, of course, is from our perception in this world. Thank you, Prash. There are some online questions. Uh, Mara, it's mentioned in the purport that there is no influence of time in the spiritual sky. We see in Bhagavadam that in Gokul, which is a replica of spiritual Goloka, Krishna goes to pass sharing ground in the morning and returns in the evening. Does it mean that such pastimes are not available in Goloka? as there is no morning and evening in the absence of time kindly explain aanmiga ulagathil kaalam endru illai endru solapadugirathu aanal gokulathil golokathil ulla aanmiga ulagil ulla gokulathil bhagavan pasukalai meipadharkaga kaalil sendru saindram thirumigirar maalil thirumigirar endru solapadugirathu idarku kaaranam enna inthaya லீலைகள் கோலோகத்தில் இல்லை என்று கொள்ளலாமா ஏனென்றால் அங்கு காலை மாலை என்பது இல்லையே there's no material time if we look at kala in the material world it is part of uh, bahiranga shakti laugika prabandhil kalam endru bahiranga shaktiyin oru pagudhi aagum then it's due to that time that prakriti gets agitated and then the jeevas take birth and death in the material world இந்த காலத்தின் காரணம் அந்த காலத்தின் காரணமாக பிரகிருதி என்பது அதிர்வலைகள் மூலமாக தூண்டப்பட்டு இங்கு படைப்பு என்பது ஆர்வமாகிறது அத்தகைய காலம் என்பது ஆன்மீக உலகத்தில் இருப்பதில்லை it takes place over a series of moments anal ang krishna paravidamana leelile seigirar selgalil eedupadigirar selil eedupaduvathu endral or kalagandathil yerpadum palveru vidamana selvarathu so to perform any pastime in the spiritual world then there has to be some sort of time ஆகவே ஆன்மீக உலகத்தில் பல விதமான லீலைகளை செய்வது என்பதற்கு ஒரு காலம் என்ற அடிப்படை தேவைப்படுகிறது ஆனால் இந்த காலம் என்பது செயல்பாடுகள் லீலைகள் என்பது இல்லை என்றால் பகவான் செயலற்ற நிலையில் இருப்பார் மற்ற நபர்களும் செயலற்ற நிலையில் இருப்பார்கள் ஆகவே இங்கு எந்த விதமான உறவோ அல்லது ரசமோ இருக்க வாய்ப்பில்லை அங்கும் காலம் என்பது இருக்கிறது ஒரு விதமான செயல்களில் ஏற்படுவது செயல்பாடுகள் என்பது இருக்கின்றன ஆனால் லௌகிக பிரபஞ்சத்தில் இருப்பது போன்று காலத்துக்கு அங்கு அழிவு என்பது இருப்பதில்லை காலமானது லௌகிக பிரபஞ்சத்தில் அவருடைய வாழ்க்கையை விடுங்கி விடுகிறது அது போன்ற ஒரு நிலை ஆன்மீக உலகத்தில் இல்லை என்று புரிந்து கொள்ளலாம் இந்த காலமானது லௌகிக பிரபஞ்சத்தில் இயற்கையாகவே அழிவை ஏற்படுத்துகிறது இந்த காலத்தின் காரணமாகத்தான் படைப்பும் அழிவும் அழிவும் ஏற்படுகிறது சரீரங்கள் பிரபஞ்சங்கள் அனைத்தும் அழிக்கப்படுகின்றன இந்த ஒரு குணம் என்பது அங்கு ஆன்மீக உலகத்தில் இருப்பதில்லை No, no jeevas are defined as either nitya siddhas or bada so uh, nitya siddhas are also to touch them nitya siddhargal kuda 
சிற்சக்தி சார்ந்தவர்கள ததச சக்தி சார்ந்தவர்கள என்று கேள்வி கேட்டதற்கு நித்திய சக்தி நித்திய சித்தர்கள் ததச சக்தி ஆகும் Maharaj, is our contamination also meaningless or we were very we pure in consciousness at some point of time? நம்மளுடைய அமலம் என்பது கலங்கம் என்பது ஆரம்பம் மற்றதான் அல்லது நாம் ஏதோ ஒரு நிலையில் தூய்மையான ஒரு உணர்வுடன் இருந்தோமா Well, so we have the word anadi bahir muka and here the word anadi avidya is used. நமக்கு anadi bahir muka என்பதும் anadi avidya என்பதும் உபயோகப்படுத்தப்படுவதை காண்கிறோம். So if we interpret it as just a long time it had a beginning. And then so that the jiva was the spiritual. இது நாம் ஒரு விதமாக புரிந்துகொண்டால் இதற்கு ஆரம்பம் என்பது இல்லை இருக்கிறது என்று கொள்ள முடியும் அதனால் காரணமாக அது ஒரு இடத்தில் தூய்மையான ஒரு நிலையில் அனுபவத்தில் இருந்தது என்று புரிந்து கொள்ளலாம் ஆன்மீகத்தில் இருந்திருக்கிறது என்றால் அந்த ஆத்மாவுக்கு சித்சக்தியுடன் இருந்திருக்க வேண்டும் அதனால் அவர் என்ன எவ்வாறு நிலை இழக்க முடியும் the lord uh, the guarantees the uh, devotee doesn't fall from his mahan anmeholathil irundhu aatma nilai bhaktargal nilai ilappadhe endru solgiraar shwara the to get liberated there are other factors like lord's mercy taking shelter of guru in addition to jeevas getting the right knowledge what are the chances of a jeeva getting all these things within the short lifetime the jeeva has mukti endra adaivadharku palveru vidamana kaaranangalum irukindana udaranathirku bhagavanude karuni guruvenude guruvidam nam eduthukollam tanjam ivu ellam jeevaavukku seriyana gnanathai peruvu ubhayapaduthukena aha indhege or nilayil இந்த இந்த வசதிகள் அனைத்தையும் குறுகிய வாழ்க்கை ஆயுளுக்குள் இந்த ஜீவாத்மா பெறுவதற்கான வாய்ப்பு தான் என்ன பக்தி என்ற ஞானத்தை பொறுத்தவரை நாம் பேசும் பொழுது அது பக்தியினுடைய ஒரு அங்கமாகவே விளங்குகிறது ஆக பக்தி என்று சொல்லும் பொழுது அது பல்வேறு விதமான தன்மைகளையும் கொண்டிருக்கிறது கருணை மற்றும் பக்தர்களுடைய சங்கம் ஞானம் அவை அனைத்தும் பக்தியினுள் அடங்கியவை ஓம் ஆகவே ஞானம் என்பது பகவானை உணரக்கூடிய ஒரு ஞானமே இறுதியான ஞானம் அதுவே முடிவான ஞானமும் ஆகும் இது வேகமாகவும் நிறைவேறலாம் அல்லது மெதுவாகவும் செயல்படலாம் இது நம்மளுடைய முயற்சியின் மீதும் பகவானுடைய கருணையின் அடிப்படையிலும் அமைந்திருக்கிறது it may take one lifetime or it may take many lifetimes ore vaalnal kuda idu perlam allathu parpala aayilum parpala piravigalum edukalam however the devotee is not too concerned about that eppadi irukkum bhaktargal idai oru porukkaga kolvadillai the devotee is uh, only trying to sincerely serve the lord bhaktargal anargal gavanathudan sreddhayudan bhagavanukku sevai seividileye kanum gardhamaga irukkarargal Uh, from the same question from, from same person uh, there are unlimited condition souls in the material world do we have any details about how many such condition souls return to the spiritual world in one yuga oru yugathil inda laugika paramathil ulla ennatra aathmaakalil ethane aathmaakal aanmeega vulai adaigindada endru petri edavadhu kanak irukindada i have not seen anything written about that nan idai petri naan engum kandadillai the next question the goswami is mentioned about many past times of the lord in the literature how do they get information about them is it through revelation or is it through reference to other uh, granthas goswami gal namakku palveru vidamana gnanathai avargalai shastrangalil kudikkirargal idai avargal evvaru perigirargal unarvu unarvathil moolamaga alladhu karunai moolama ah so it is both 
Gurmas? Uh, one, can, one can get through uh, realization and also from uh, previous devotees. Uh, next question, Maharaj. Maharaj, if I remember right, Bhakti Vinod Thakur mentions in Jeva Dharma that jivas are in the junction of the material and spiritual world. Then some jivas choose to go to the spiritual world and some to the material world. But since material time is not operating, that moment is called beginningless or anadi. Kindly clarify. When Jaiva Dharma and the Puttakadil and Padita and Nenevu Kundavare, in the Jivatma and Bade, Tadasta Satya Hivanga and all, the Anmi Hula Turku, Sela Tirnir Kalam, Allah, the Logi Prabhas Dilir Padakum Tirnir Kalam. In the Logi Kalam, Allah, and the word Nilagil, Sanatil, Anmi Hula took a celebrity in the Irkum Sanatil, Arma Matra, Anadi, and Bakuna Takura, Jeva, the Mavi Rakapurta, and Principal Great, the Seria. That seems to be a, uh, we could say, an analogy. I would Udarna Maha, poor Patula, the Hana Medical a way of using uh, an example which involves place and time to explain the idea of Anadi Bahirmukha. Anadi Bahirmukha in the Vilako the Kaha, or Nerum, Kalam, Idam, our train, and you put it in Kurka Padula or Vilakama. But we, we should not necessarily take that as uh, at one time the Jiva was not in the material world or the spiritual world, it's kind of in between. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Randara Sri Sashimal Bhagavatam ki jai. Visualas Bhagavatam Maharaj ki jai. Sivayangri Sesi Bhagavatam Samil Prabhupada ki jai. Go Pramanam. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Um, we have His Grace Sarvabhauma Prabhu, uh, who is giving a lecture in Hindi for all the devotees, Hindi-speaking devotees, Hindi-speaking life members, patrons, donors, and those who are inclined towards Krishna consciousness or those who you want to bring them to Krishna consciousness. Today morning at 10.25, request uh, there is a banner over in the, all the WhatsApp group and the Telegram group. Kindly spread it all around, take full advantage, Prabhu is a wonderful preacher, so kindly take advantage. The, again, we will also chant for all the devotees who are affected by COVID. Uh, it's also, uh, yeah, we request all devotees chant. In fact, there is one devotee, uh, Sadananda Nityananda Prabhu, who is uh, live in Maremali Nagar. His sister, brother-in-law, both of them passed away due to COVID yesterday in Chennai. And their son is also a bit uh, not uh, affected by COVID. So let's chant for them and for the well-being of all the devotees uh, who are suffering from COVID. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Ram Ram. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And we'll also have our evening sessions from between 7 and 9. Request devotees to join.